What's up, I'm Lex, and there's a couple of things you need to know just quickly before watching this video. Number one, no, this is 100% true. This is not clickbait, this was a seven day transformation. And number two, there's an entire series of around four videos prior to this episode that you need to watch to understand exactly how we've gone from day one to day seven. It explains everything, it's completely transparent all the way through from day one with physique updates, weigh-ins, food, macros, and even a full day of eating. So quick catch up if you hadn't seen the previous episodes, I'd already done four days of depletion, I'd already done another day of loading, this was my second day of loading, the final day to get my carbs and fats and everything in there to help fill out the body and make it look swole, tight and vascular. So I'll take you through some of the tricks later on in the video, but just so you know, this is a final setup for an already established and calculated macro diet that we've run prior to this. So the targets I had to aim to hit for today were 160 grams of protein, 400 grams of carbs, and 45 grams of fat. So it's spiking the carbs, keeping the fats quite moderate, and bringing the protein down, compared to what you would normally see, and compared to what you saw in the depletion phases. If you enjoyed this episode, hit me up in the comment section below. Other than that, I'm Lex. <laughs> enjoy the edits, and enjoy the reveal. Boom, baby. So here we are in Turkey enjoying a little bit of sunshine and R&R. &R. I'm not going to deny it, since we've got here we've basically shamelessly sunbathed. But this morning I started right, we got to the airport early, it was a really early start, I had no sleep overnight. I stayed up until 5 in the morning to get the edit done that you guys previously saw to this episode. Basically I had an hour's sleep, went to the airport, got some porridge with apricots, dates and pomegranate seeds, skimmed milk, and that was the start to the day. Just wanted to start getting some carbs in there. Now normally, if you weren't doing what I was doing, which was flying, you'd want something a little bit quicker in there. You'd also want some meat or some protein levels in there. But because I was getting on a plane, I didn't really want a lot of meat in my stomach or anything like that, because it just, with meat, doesn't agree. It makes me bloated and horrible. So we had a four and a half hour flight with a two hour delay. But now we're here, had some lunch, done some sunbathing. Hopefully the added benefit of being here in the sun is that that heat's gonna help the loading phase, bring out that vascularity, help just sweat. I always look better in the sun. I don't know why. I'm part Cypriot, I guess, and that's why I'm designed for the heat. This is an all-inclusive resort, so that means there is a huge array of foods. It's an endless array, so when you come to places like this, it's about being smart. And obviously with what I'm doing here, we forgot to bring food scales. Now, if I was on prep and I was coming away, I would 100% bring a set of food scales with me and I would weigh what I'm putting onto my plate. I don't give a shit what everyone else around thinks of me. They think you're weird, who cares? It will keep me in shape and keep me being allowed to enjoy different types of foods. But since I don't have that, what I'm doing is eyeballing. Now, I've been doing macros for years, which means I'm very good at eyeballing and understanding portion control. So, for my main lunch meal, what I did was I had a stuffed pepper, which I know can hold around 60 grams of cooked rice. Alongside that, I had some white sauteed potatoes. So a little bit of fat, but really, in essence, not too much with the way they were cooked. The white potato, it's quick, it's low fiber. And that's what we kind of want at this stage. Alongside that, I had some chicken breast with some braised beef. So I'm getting in some of the protein, some of the fats that I'm going to need just to help perk the body up and keep that consistency. What I don't want to be doing is having to eat a dump load of white rice because obviously I don't have to hand things that I would normally eat on a day like this, which would be things like jam, peanut butter, and caramel rice cakes. So instead what I've gone for is the fruit juice option. Now, if you do macros and you count your food, you'll know that fruit juices are not macro friendly in terms of volume. They're highly condensed, calorific, high carb, sources, which for me right now is perfect. Plus because fruit sugars are mainly fructose, which is only bad when it's in corn syrup, that means it's not gonna make me feel too full or bloated. And it means a 250 ml, which is a small glass serving, is gonna go down easy, but still provide me with around about 
15 to 20 grams of carbohydrate. If you think I sound a little bit weird, it's because I've got my Invisalign back in, which I've been a naughty boy and not been wearing, so I'm committed to that as well. So with everything logged in in my fitness pal, which you guys can go and check out, link to my food vlogs in the description, which is basically a link to this page directly. You can see that today so far, my macros sit at 243 carbohydrates, 39 fat, and 83 protein. Now from this point on, what I want to kind of avoid really is any more fats because I'm gonna utilize a little bit of those just before the reveal, before the pump up. And then also, my little trick starts with getting myself two grams of table salt. Wrapped it up in a paper towel and I've got that ready to rock and roll for this evening when we're going to the gym and do the <laughs> reveal. Another important factor if you're doing this on a show for like a peak moment in the day, you're gonna need to get a pump up in after kind of every second meal or every large macro intake. Since I forgot to bring my bands, because I'm awesome at packing for holidays, what I'll have to suffice is hitting out a few press-ups, a few lunges, some sissy squats, and just get the blood pumping. And that's all we want. We're just helping draw that glycogen and pull that water in alongside into the muscles, keep the body ticking over. Especially since for the rest of the day, I'm pretty much just gonna be working on my tan. See you in a bit. Or if that's a bit boring, you could try a bit of this. Call me sandals, son. So at this point I had my final meal and it stacked up pretty much similar to the other one that you saw at lunchtime. It was the same, just meats, I had rice. But what I then did was utilize the last of my fats that I had over and also to get some fast carbs in, I had some fun desserts. So I had myself some chocolate looking cake and what this is gonna do is it's gonna give me some fast acting sugars, it's gonna give me some of those fats that I want to help bring out that vascularity and tighten the body up ready for the reveal. The only other one thing that I did do, 20 minutes before going into the hard pump up session, prior to the reveal I did my warm up and just prior to that I took two scoops of this. This is EHP's PSI non-stimulant pre-workout and this one is focused on vasodilation and pump. But what this does have in there which is important, it's got the arginine and it's got the citrulline malate in there which is going to help me look fuller, help me get a positive nitrogen tension and increase that pump. So that's everything. And with that, let's head to the gym. So here we are, day seven. Meals in, warm up done. Remember that little thing of salt that I got earlier? I'm gonna slam that now with the rest of this bottle of water around 250 ml of water. Then I'm just gonna go full body, high volume, get super pumped, let all that salt get soaking up, all those carbs get drawn into the muscle, keep my water up, keep driving. Then it's time for the reveal. It's been a long seven days. Now I'm gonna lie, some of it's been a bit grueling with those low numbers but we're finally here, and I hope you guys are learning something very important from this, that everything that you see, although true, is not always all the time. So once we finish this mini transformation, moving on from here, it's into those three challenges I've set myself of the Tough Mudder Marathon, the boxing match, and the physique show at the end of the year. This is just the beginning. So we go the two grams of salt. This is gonna help me tighten up, bring that water into the muscle, increase vascularity, but it's only gonna last me around about 35 minutes. It's also gonna taste pretty freaking foul.
I'm in my element Money getting bigger, that's the evidence They wanna see me fall, I promise you I never slip I'm on the grind, do it for the dead presidents Dead presidents I'm shining, yeah, I feel like Thomas Edison Henny in my cup, that Henny be my medicine On the grind, yeah, I'm stacking up these Benjamins Rap game ain't got no fucking benefits They wanna see me fall, I promise you I never slip I'm on the grind, do it for the dead presidents Dead presidents And there, you have it Seven days that's all that took. It's about knowledge and manipulation of the body. It's about understanding acute effects versus long-term effects. It's about understanding that not every single moment that is captured on social media in a video is not how that body is 100% of the time. Just like when you see a movie star in a photograph for a movie and they look amazing. That's not how they look when they wake up on a Monday goddamn morning after a long ass weekend. I really, really hope that this has opened up a lot of your eyes to feel better about maybe not feeling perfect every day, to feel better about not being able to look exactly like that person you inspired to look like in their photos, because we are all on the same path. We all have potential. Yes, some, some have better genetics and are going to reach that potential faster. That doesn't mean that you cannot be the best version of yourself every single day, every single session, every single goal that you set yourself. Just be realistic, understand the path you're on, how long it's gonna take you, realistic timelines, realistic goals, smaller goals that will all add up over a long period of time to achieving that one big goal. And trust me, by the time you get there, you'll already have another one set. Thank you all very, very much for joining me on this journey. It's been fun, but now we've got more to do. So until the next time that I see you, it's been Lex seven day challenge. If you've joined in with me, tag me in your photos, put them up and hashtag seven days with Lex. Show me what you accomplished. Till the next one crew, it's been fun. I've been Lex, this has been Turkey. This has been seven day transformation. We out of here, boom baby.